back to Brad's Car Mods. I'm Brad. If you notice, I am not in my home garage today. I'm actually at my brother-in-law Carl's garage. You've seen him on the channel a couple of times, uh, helping me with the Miata, the, the K-Swap. He actually bought this. This is a, a 2007 uh, Subaru Legacy GT 2.5 GT, GT 2.5. GT, uh, 2.5 GT 2.5 GT Limited, there we go. So he had a Civic, uh, a Civic SI, had the K20, uh, VTEC, all the good stuff. Really fun car, very similar to the K24 that I have in my, that I'm putting in my Miata. The problem with that car though was uh, all-wheel drive, or I'm sorry, uh, front-wheel drive, and we do autocross and, and spirited back roads uh, driving. And he really just couldn't get used to the front-wheel drive aspect not something that he fell in love with. He used to have a BMW rear wheel drive. You know, rest in peace, BMW. <laughs> we won't talk about that. Uh, traded it for the Civic or bought a Civic instead. Um, had fun with the car, but like I said, couldn't ever really just like fall in love with the car. Did what any other, you know, red blooded American would do get on Facebook Marketplace and try to find a deal. Found this. Uh, guy traded him uh, pretty much even. Well, uh, he gave him some money for his car. And what this is, though, is a 2.5 liter uh, boxer engine, turbocharged. Five speed, um, all wheel drive, so super all wheel drive. Uh, I've always thought these were good looking cars. Uh, he's gonna take off the uh, the window tent, I think, and there's a couple of things that, uh, just I'm not gonna lie, there's some, some janky stuff going on here at the back end we'll talk about in a second. But it is gonna be uh, autocross, but also a daily driver for him and my nephew, Owen. So safety first. He's already replaced all four tires because they were mismatched when he got it. Windshield is cracked, uh, so that's gonna be replaced here soon. Uh, the battery was crap uh, and, and dying, so bought a new battery and it was missing a tie down, so he bought a battery tie down. Just basic, fundamental, um, getting ready to do an oil change. And these, all the types of stuff you would do when you first get a car that has kind of an unknown history. Um, it's got a decent amount of miles on it, but it's been sitting here in the garage for a couple of days now. Not a single drop on the floor. It's not leaking anything that we, as far as we can tell. Uh, the cool thing about Subarus, and especially um, the ones like these with the all-wheel drive, like this shares a lot of parts with the WRX platform. So WRX, SDI, a lot of times parts will bolt right onto these things. Factory spoiler on the back, factory functioning hood scoop, which I think looks good. Goes right into the top mount intercooler for the turbo. A little tiny turbo, but hey, it's turbo, so we're gonna change the oil and crawl around underneath and then take it for a quick drive. So yeah, fun <clears throat> fun things like this when you when you buy a car that's just been neglected. Like this was in front of in front of a strut like that, and there's no uh, there's no little push pin things hold, or push clips holding that in. On the other side, there's uh, one push clip and a zip tie and a prayer holding the other side in. Little things like that are all over this car and we're just gonna, the goal is of course to go through all that stuff and like I said, make it safe and just fix the things that are easy to like low hanging fruit really. Right now he's using a breaker bar to get the oil drain plug out, which is always fun too. The uh, the fun number ends, uh, the plastic dip right here, like this stuff should be just not take, you know, just take it out of the stores um, <laughs> to be honest with you. I don't, maybe you can make plastic dip look good I've not ever seen it personally, and this is what happens. It just, yeah. A couple of cosmetic issues, sure, but the drivetrain is solid. Transmission feels solid. A little sloppy in the, the shifter, but that's all rebuildable. And, you know, companies like Cobb do like a short throw kit. But also, again, 189,000. Look at these seats. I don't wanna say brand new, but those look really good for that many miles. That's a factory steering wheel, like that's, there's, you know, a little bit of rubbing right there, but otherwise for leather to hold up that good, like that's, that's a win. Door cards all look in great shape. Um, no issues with those. Uh, it's got some, you know, Subaru wood grain, which is, uh, but whatever. All right, so one of the issues needs to be addressed right away is this wheel stud right here. Somebody really rounded the hell out of that thing. It's terrible. So. Got a new one from the local auto parts store. It's Dorman, Dorman brand. Uh, you can see though, it's just a press in fit. Basically, it sticks out from the, from the wheel like this and you screw on the lug nuts. Uh, so you just have to hammer that back out and then put the new one in and then take a, a lug nut. This is why he got two. So this is what the style is. 
uh, on the car from the factory normally. This is an open-ended one so that he can run that all the way down and tighten the lug nut onto the lug and it will pull that lug through the, the holes on the wheel hub there to seat that properly. So we sprayed it with a little bit of penetrating oil, beat on the end of the hammer and it popped out the back. Now we just put the new one in, pull it through with the, uh, with the lug nut. Here we go. Do I need to hit it again? Actually, the camera helps. I think it's good, man. Yeah. That's all it takes. Good stud repaired. Shop on $100 for that. Yeah. $100 to do that at a shop, and you paid how much for the bolts? $11. $11. <laughs> DIY, people. Forgot to show this earlier, but this fender's got these marks on it here. And somebody did a DIY, uh, earlier I said DIY people <laughs> to do the wheel stud. This is not what I mean, DIY, it's a DIY fender roll here. It's a DIY fender roll, and it's, it's rolled on the inside, but man, they used a pair of pliers or something to do it, and it's the worst thing I think I've ever seen on a car like that. Like, that's terrible. DIY, but, you know, do it the right way. All right, fresh oil change done. Gonna start it and just... So what's interesting too is um, the clutch pedal on this thing is really stiff, like unnecessarily so stiff. We're trying to figure out if there's something wrong or if it's an aftermarket clutch of some kind that, that you know, it needed a clutch and somebody put one in and they went with something heavy duty or something. So I'm going to start it. already here it's it's got a loud far can on it it sounds good um, under load when you're driving it sounds good under heavy throttle but yeah it's a far can it's not great definitely going to address that in the future for sure Like it's not, it doesn't feel like it slips at all. Like the grab point is fine. Okay, first impressions. Uh, man, this thing drives really, really solid. Um, it pulls hard. The seating position and driving position is fantastic. The brakes are terrible. I almost F-bombed right there. The brakes are shit and they need fixed. Suspension-wise, it's good. Um, it's a little in the corners, and we didn't do a lot of cornering, you know, hard corners and stuff like that. It's a little sloppy, um, but 
the ride is really good and you know it's got some issues on the outside no question about it looks wise there's there's some cosmetic stuff that needs to be fixed but the important thing is it drives really nice the seats are really solid for its age no kidding like really good and just it's a good driving car it's gonna be a lot of fun it pulls hard through all the gears and makes some right makes some pretty good noises too a little, little turbo swishing here and there thumbs up it's good stuff yep first performance upgrade mod complete extra five horsepower right there go to bradscarmods.com and get yourself a sticker uh i'm excited to have a subaru on the channel let me know what you guys think in the comments uh, I think this is going to be a fun uh, car to tear into. Carl and I are super excited about that. And uh, I'm excited to see where this goes. Uh, definitely more videos in the future. Like and subscribe if you like uh, Subarus or this kind of content. And uh, see you next time. Subaru. Hi, hi, hi.